In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set a mesh via C++. I'm going to specifically use a skeletal mesh, though uh, static mesh will work, and really this can be used for uh, any kind of assets if you kind of extrapolate off this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create our C++ class. Um, if your project doesn't have a C++ folder, uh, we can go to all, you'll see it here. If it doesn't have that, uh, what you've got to do is you've got to go to uh, Tools and New C++ Class. And what this will do is will uh, translate your Blueprint project into a C++ project. If you do already have one, if it's already a C++ project, you can just do this. Uh, after that, you're going to have to like comp recompile it, so that'll take a while. But I've already done that. Um, and so I have my example class right here. So I have my .h and my .cpp. So the, um, the basics of what we want to do is we want to set the, the mesh of our character. This is a character. Um, it inherits from the a character class. And to do this, well, why are we going to do this? Well, first of all, because, you know, this isn't something that's done by default. If I was to go to here and show you an example in the bl blueprints. Um, you can see it's empty, but it's very easy. We can just like select our mesh we want here. Simple. It's not so simple in C++. What we're gonna do is we've got to find this mesh we wanna use, which is here. And then we're going to copy the reference. And so after that, we go to our uh, C++ code and we now we need to set the reference. So to do that, we need to create a uh, object finder. So this is a class, an object that um, goes to somewhere and finds us that asset. Um, it's not the best thing ever. Uh, that reason is because it's pretty static and um, such if you change the location for instance of your assets it will not update that so that's pretty bad so this is just the object finder so you have to do this in the constructor I should have said this before this is the constructor here so what it's, what's that? It's whatever's, It's the code that's run whenever you create or change the object. So it's basically, every time we do that, we're just going to find this mesh and put it in. Um, so the uh, name is, should be in our clipboard. And it's right here. And as you can see, that's exactly what we had. Um, yeah, so that's what we need. What we then do is we go down and we need to check did it successfully get this? So we're going to have an if statement and then character mesh dot suck seeded. And if that's true, we can get mesh. So that's getting the mesh of our, um, it's getting our skeletal mesh of our character. And we can do that operator and set skeletal mesh. Now my entire J is being a bit slow, but that's pretty normal. So I'm just going to do this without looking at it. And I can, in short, say what all this code does. So um, this is the object finder. This is the specific type of object we're finding, so it's a U skeletal mesh, so you could have like a U static mesh or a U material, etc. Then we can just have our variable name here, then we have our location, and as I said, we, um, and that's stop being an error because it's it's loaded with IntelliJ, IntelliSense, whichever one is the Unreal, whichever one is the Visual Studio one. Um, so that succeeded. And that should work. So I'm going to pause this tutorial right now and I'm going to come back when I've rebuilt this and I can show you that it's worked in the editor. Okay, so that just compiled and immediately it worked. So our CPP character, which before just had that 
icon there. Now there's a different icon. And that indicates that it has this mesh. So yeah, that's the tutorial. I'm putting the code in the description just for like reference. And it's easy to get. And that's everything. If you like this tutorial, like and subscribe. Thank you.